The Mitsui Fudosan Co Limited is a major real estate developer in Japan. Mitsui Fudosan is one of the core companies of Mitsui Group. Here is the revision of dividend forecast. The upward revision of dividend forecast is a positive sign. It suggests that the company is performing better than expected and is confident in its future prospects. I'm going to talk about the major asset classes now. Office buildings are the largest asset class accounting for 55% of total lease floor space and 39% of company's revenue. This suggests that Mitsui Fudosan is a heavily invested in commercial real estate, particularly office space. Logistic facilities are the second largest asset class, representing 19% of the company's revenue. This highlights the growing importance of logistics in the e-commerce age. Housing, including condominiums, detached houses, and brokered sales, makes up 19% of the company's revenue. This indicates that Mitsui Fudosan is also a major player in the residential real estate market. Retail facilities and hotels and resorts are smaller asset classes generating 12% and 3% of the revenue respectively. From the balance sheet, we can see that the company's total assets has increased steadily over the past 5 years from $107.5 billion in 2020 to $114.8 billion in 2023. This represents a compound annual growth rate of 1.3%. The company's total liabilities have also increased steadily over the past five years, from $66.7 billion in 2020 to $72.4 billion in 2023. This represents a CAGR of 1.6%. And lastly, the company's cash on hand has decreased slightly over the past five years, from $18,919 million in 2022 to $16,143 million in 2023. I'll fill you in with the key financial ratios now. The company's current ratio has remained relatively stable over the past five years, ranging from 1.45 to 1.55. This suggests that the company is able to meet its short-term obligations. The company's asset turnover ratio has fluctuated over the past five years, but has generally been increasing. This suggests that the company is becoming more efficient as using its asset to generate revenue. The company's return on equity has fluctuated over the past five years, but has generally been increasing as well. This suggests that the company is becoming more efficient at generating profits from its shareholders' equity. The company's net profit margin has also fluctuated from the past five years, but has generally been increasing as well. This suggests that the company is becoming more efficient at converting revenue into profit. Here is the revenue from the largest asset class operations. Total revenue for 3QFY 2023 is $606,195, which is an increase of $47,128 from 3QFY 2022. This represents a year-over-year -year increase of 8.4%. Revenue from office buildings was $331,601 in 3QFY 2023, which is more than retail facilities and other revenue combined. Revenue from retail facilities grew by 9.8% year-over-year, while revenue from office buildings grew by 4.9%. This suggests that the company's retail facilities are becoming a more important source of income. Let's talk about revenue from other asset classes operations now. Total revenue for 3QFY 2023 is $1,092,818, which is an increase of $24,506 from 3QFY 2022. This represents a year-over-year -year increase of 2.3%. Property sales are the larger source of revenue, but they are decreasing. Facility operations is the fastest growing revenue source. Property management revenue is also growing, but more slowly. The stock is currently trading above its 50-day and 200-day moving averages, which is a bullish sign. The relative strength index is currently at 68.15, which is above 70 and indicates that the stock may be overbought. The technical analysis of the stock suggests that it is in a strong uptrend. If you would like us to research a stock, please tweet at Collective ReC or leave a comment here. Like and subscribe for potential investment ideas. Become a member at www.collective-research.com. Receive investment ideas before they are published.
Collective research. Active fundamental research in global capital markets. Make informed decisions.